right, here's a quick look at my Mercedes uh, diesel. This is a uh, 2021 Delanto by Thor, the RW series. Uh, there's the engine purring away, very clean. Uh, step back a minute, close the hood. Okay, here we go. Has that big skylight up top. Side windows, that's up in that upper bunk above the um, cab. Stainless steel wheel covers. This is full body paint. Um, it's basically a light beige color with blue decor decorations, but it's full body paint. It's also been ceramic coated, uh, so it's in really super good shape. That's an awning up there, 15 feet, automated awning with LED lights in it. Uh, we've got the rear dually wheels, also stainless steel. We've got a lot of compartments on this side, so we're going to open them all up real quick and show you. So we've got a cargo compartment in the front. Just behind the wheel, we have the Onan generator. And then we have the larger compartment that goes not across the back, but part of the back. Swing around to the back here. We have the bed slide. Uh, there's a 5,000 capacity tow hitch, which I believe said it had a 750 pound tongue weight capability. I'm not sure about that. Uh, let's see. Walking to the other side. Here's the uh, electric. Um, and uh, I have all the cables for 110, uh, 220, 30 amp, and I believe it's 220, 50 amp. It's 30 and 50 amp plugs. I have all the accessories. There's the slide for the dinette. Back here we have the water where you can switch it from dry camping to various things. It all has a black water flush system and it's very easy to winterize and there's your outdoor shower. Up here we have the main storage compartment for my accessories and they all come with it and that's also the water, uh, some kind of water tank right there. It has 30 gallon fresh water, 38 gallon black water and um, 38 gray water sorry if I'm not that good at this there's the slide out they do have the awnings over top cruise back around here close all these doors up all the doors look good no rust anywhere this thing's like super clean uh, I took good care of it and um, I don't know that a dealer would give you a cleaner vehicle than this. I'm pretty persnickety about how I maintain my vehicles. And then up here is where we have our propane tank. I'm not going to get under there because I don't think you can see it. Alright, stepping into the vehicle. We have the automated steps. So we open the door, the steps come out automatically, there is a switch to turn them on and off, so once you're there you can set them to stay out, and then they won't go in and out. So we have the screen door with a pass through, which is extremely handy when you're in places where you don't want the bugs getting in, you can slide this pass through out of the way, and you're in. So there's the storm door. As we go into the coach here, uh, underneath here, you'll see the battery compartment. That's the deep cell battery for the coach. It also has room for a second one if you wanted that. Here's all the basic controls to turn the coach electricity on. This here is the um, to turn the inverter on, the little green light comes on, and then this is the switch to turn the steps 
from going in and out. Also, there's your solar controller. It's a 100 watt solar panel on the roof. This really works good. And with that in the inverter, you can pretty much turn a bunch of stuff on without thinking about it. Entering the coach. Looking forward. Here's the cab with the uh, skylight. That skylight has an automated curtain that I can open and close with a switch near the mirror, driver's mirror. Uh, here's your dinette, which also converts into sleeping. You take the table out, fill it in, and it's a sleeper. On this side, you have the what they call sofa theater seating with reclining capabilities. So, you can pull a lever and both of those will come out if you want both of them out. Over there is the coach stereo for just the coach. It's Bluetooth and you can talk to it with your phone. In here is the um, DVD player and you can switch it to watch the same image on both TVs. There's your up top sleeping bunk. Put that down. Put the seat back. And that's pretty much what you have up there for sleeping. 40 inch TV. The dinette or the um, cooking area. That's a two burner propane electric start grill. Underneath my paperwork here is a stainless steel sink. Stainless steel sink and faucet and that runs off the pump or off the pressure of the city water or municipal water. Lots of accent lighting. Like there's glass, black glass panels, you got lighting up under here, you got lights at the top, you got lights over here. There are heat and air conditioning vents throughout the blacker the heat. Actually I don't know that. I think that's air conditioning and heat from the heat pump that is. So you have an air conditioner, 30,000 watt BTU air conditioner, I think, with um, a heat pump so it can switch back and forth and I think that's a 15,000 watt heat pump and here's your two-door refrigerator which is electric and automatically switches to propane, your convection microwave oven which you can actually bake in. This is a little extension when you're trying to work at the counter you can have a little bit more room with this extension well, right now I don't know how to put that down we didn't use it much there's the shower and we're looking back into the bedroom Everything is clean, everything is not broken. This is an upgraded shower head, so you get a little bit better pressure than the original one. And the shower is pretty much a full size and the skylight up top, I'm 6'4", I can stand in there and shampoo my head. Uh, it's partially up in the skylight, but it's a very tall shower. You can open the bathroom door and close off the front of the coach. And then you can access the shower or the bathroom. And it's very nice. Everything works good. You got a skylight and fan in there. There's your instant hot thermostat where you can turn it on and off if you want or just leave it on. Now that's pretty sweet. Doesn't take long to get the hot water out of that. This is the bedroom. I just sat on the bed, so straighten that up a little bit. Um, you've got a queen size bed, I'm sorry, a full size bed, two storage cabinets above it. You've got your um, hanging and three drawer cabinet over here, which has the extendable curtain or extendable hanger rod, so you can either leave it out or you can push it back in. So if you have really long hanging items, you could leave that open. There's one big cabinet with two glass doors. Cabinets are up above. They have um, uh, 
charging station in there for USB ports and there's also a cigarette lighter type of plug. I understand this outlet here to be for CPAP machine so it can run at any time. Windows are all uh, tinted with um, uh, insulated glass. There's the 32 inch TV which you can drive with the DVD player or you can use it for cable or analogs. Up here we have the powered vent and this one's in a housing so you could leave this open while you're going down the road it's in a housing. The other two vents one in the bathroom and one in the kitchen are just the vent popping up and I don't recommend driving with that open. Let's see what else I can tell you. It's got the uh, Lick, uh, luxury vinyl flooring, very durable, clean as can be. There's your charging station that's just behind the driver's seat. There's also an outlet below the cup holder. Uh, there are two, four, six, eight cup holders in the front of this vehicle. Get in the driver's seat. There's the dash. Let's see if I can switch it to. There's our mileage, 10,889. There's your widescreen TV where you can do navigation. You can also change that at the dashboard or you can use your finger to move it around. So you can have serious radio navigation. You can also say. Mercedes? How can I help? And you can ask her a question. Mercedes, cancel. Uh, very uh, what can spacious. I... Please repeat. Cancel, Mercedes. What do you want to do? I'd like to cancel. Up here you have a fairly large compartment with several jacks of all different kinds. Uh, there's the wine guard secret code. I have the chip taken out so no, nothing can be done with that right now. The seats are quite nice. They're a leatherette material or maybe leather, I don't know, but they've got bolsters. They're six-way electric seats, heated, and this armrest can come up and down. Uh, what else can I tell you? There's the switch there to open and close the skylight up above the um, cab. And this is it. Uh, this is extremely clean for 10,000, almost 900 miles, you'd never know it. And I'd say that it's probably cleaner than anything you'd see in a dealer's lot. Uh, I take care of it probably a lot better than they would. Any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch with me. Thank you, and thank you for your patience on this one-shot video. Thanks, bye.